Hi there guys and welcome to a very basic tutorial on how to get old school RuneScape into your OBS Classic. So this is just for OBS Classic users, there will be an OBS Studio version later on. As you can see, all we have open is OBS Classic. All you need to do is create yourself a scene in this box here. So right click this box, it should be blank for you. So you right click, you press add scene, a little box will appear and you just give it a name. So once you've pressed OK, that is the same name that I've got. Now to create a source you can either do it one of two ways you can enable your preview which i have had to do to record the screen by the way so you can either right click into the sources box press add and then choose from the drop down list but because you can't see all of them there i'm just going to show you in this view so personally what i use is window capture you can use game capture that will collect just the game client itself and not the surrounding area so what i'm going to do is i'm going to collect window capture and i'm just going to call it uh OSRS, just so you can see the full thing, I'll drag it into the middle, there we go, so you press OK, and then what you'll do is you'll you'll just get like a little box up here, right? so all you want to be doing here is you want to be looking for your profile, so right now I'm using the, the conduit client, so if you're using OS Buddy or Rune Loader, yours would probably say Rune Loader or OS Buddy, personally I use conduit because it's less memory, but anyway, and this is not a client review video so we click that then you can choose what you want to do you can choose inner window entire window capture mouse cursor and so on and so forth if you want to make it slightly transparent you can also do that so what we'll do is just leave everything standard and we're going to press ok as you can see now this is probably what you'll get all the time so all you need to do to make this very big is press edit scene and then these edges you can just drag so as an example if you drag it like that you'll probably notice the screen doesn't look correct so all you need to do quite simply is hold down your alt key and then drag from the top and as you can see here it is slightly cropping you may need to hold control as well by the way because control will allow you to move it in smaller amount of pixels so as an example we're just going to go control and alt and we're just going to select just the game client so as you can see there we've pretty much got just the game client there is a slight bit of edge in there so we will pull that in a little bit more so all we need to do now is we need to fit to screen so you've gone you've right clicked your source you've gone to position and you've gone fit to screen and this is probably what you will all get you'll just get how do i get rid of the sides so the quickest way to do this is once you're still in the edit scene mode is literally grab it Click and drag to the left and what it'll do is it will hook to the left hand side or you can do it to the right side which you prefer and then on your keyboard hold shift and simply drag out the side until you see it reach the side. Press edit and then you're done. If you need to add an overlay or anything like that you would obviously just go right click in there add then you would add an image and then you'd get a little dialogue pop up and then you'd choose your overlay. You'd put that slightly above this one so this would be underneath so the top the most top in the sources is on top of everything this is the order in which it will show that is it that is a basic tutorial on how to get old school runescape into OBS classic what i will also do for you is just briefly go through some settings with you this is my personal settings for this but i will also name the very basic of what you will need so you're in your encoding if you don't have a dedicated graphics card or anything like that, you want to be using the encoder, which is the X264 standard one. CBR is optional. You can test about this yourself. Your max bit rate. This is what you will be uploading at. Personally, my upload speed is 50 meg, so I am limited to 50,000. So currently I'm uploading at 6 megs a second. RuneScape on its own with no music or anything like that only needs about 900 kilobytes. Okay. So if you've got a standard broadband connection, you do not have fiber, you've got like a one meg connection, you still can stream RuneScape, it is possible, you just need to set this to 900, or if you're getting like 0 0.8 upload, set it to about 740, and then it'll allow like a slight bit of buffer. So the lowest you need that is 740. Twitch, I believe, supports anything up to 10 meg, but... You don't need anything more than about three and a half thousand. The reason it's set to six thousand is because I was streaming from my PS4. You only need this at about three thousand or three and a half thousand at very most. That's if you're doing everything else. You've got your webcam, you've got your audio, and you've got everything else. 
All right. So your broadcast settings is obviously set to yourself. This is this is all you. So you would need your stream key and everything like that. Your video, as you can see here, this is just your video settings. So this is my this is my base resolution. RuneScape itself doesn't need a 1080p resolution. So the best thing to do to give yourself some better performance from your CPU is set this to a downscale of 1.5, which would put you on 720p. Uh, and your FPS is optional. Obviously, 60 is the best. 30 is also possible for RuneScape. You're not going to see much difference between 40 and 60. This is also optional. If you've got a very, very poor CPU or like an old AMD or an old Intel, you want it on this setting. If you've got a decent one, you can just move it up to that one. And that, to be honest, is pretty much it. You don't need to know anything else. That is all your settings that you need. I hope you found this video useful. Happy streaming.